Good morning friends! Welcome to Vlogmas Day 4. I can't believe that it's day 4 already, but here we are. So I did get a phone call from crew scheduling at about 6 o'clock this morning. So today they have me deadheading from Chicago to Phoenix, and then we are going to be working the flight from Phoenix to Newark and having a layover in Newark. I am working position 2 again, which is my favorite. And that is the main cabin galley. We are working on the A321, which is also one of my favorite planes in our fleet. So I'm really excited about that. I love that I got a good trip that I'm really excited for. And it's like a longer Newark. It's like uh, 14 hours, I think, that will be in Newark. So I have like a later sign in. It's not till 1020. I prefer like the afternoon and the night flying. So I got like literally the perfect trip for me. So I'm really excited about that. So since I didn't get called yesterday and I'm just like in plain clothes, I didn't really unpack. So I don't really have a lot to pack, um, but that's all I have to do. I have to pack, I have to change and then head on over to the airport. But since I'm at a hotel, I just take the airport shuttle over. I don't have to drive, so it takes way less time to get there. So that's exciting. <laughs> so here is my makeup. I still have to put on my Ardell Magnetic Lashes, but I just put my mascara on. So I'm gonna wait for that to dry and then do these babies. But while I'm doing that, I am going to do my hair. I almost forgot that I have to do my hair. <laughs> do my hair, pack my bags and get on the road. I'm actually really glad that this first flight is a deadhead because I still have some finishing touches to put on Vlogmas Day 3 so I can get that up for you guys. So that gives me the perfect amount of time to do that. And then we don't really have a lot of sit time in Phoenix, but as of now, the gate we're going into is next to like my favorite restaurant in Phoenix. And the last time I was in Phoenix with this last trip, it was closed. So there was no way I was going to be able to get some. And we didn't really have sit time. So. so I'm really excited that we're going through Phoenix again. So hopefully I can get my favorite smoothie. My hair does not want to cooperate today. I think I'm going to do a high bun. ballerina <laughs> I don't know today's high bun day I'm here for it whatever I'm not gonna fight my hair <laughs> whatever I'm not gonna fight my hair today and she she wants a fight and we're not doing that so here we are I thought that I left my tights at like home or something I don't know I don't know what happened to my tights but fortunately I have an extra pair in my bag I didn't even know I had an extra pair in my bag so thank you uh past Janae for putting an extra pair of tights in my bag because I could not find mine we're not required to wear tights or nylons anymore. However, I do prefer it. It, I think, looks good and it keeps me warm because it's cold because it's winter. So so I was real worried that I didn't have any because I did not want to go bare leg today. But luckily, I don't have to. So, so I am going to go get dressed and I will see you guys at the airport or in Phoenix or wherever I see you guys next. So, but I'll see ya. <laughs> About to leave. Already packing, come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. What we can be, life with no distractions. We'll get away. This is what we waited for. Finally at our hotel. So it is 1237 New York time and I got called for this at 6 a.m. Chicago time with a 1020 a.m. Chicago time sign-in. 
So in Chicago, we're an hour ahead, so it is 11.37. And we had a 10.37 sign in. So that was a 13 hour day today. Even though we just had a deadhead and a sit and we only worked one flight, it was just, it was a long day. It was a 13 hour day. So not a whole lot of vlogging going on because I was busy working. But, but I'm so glad that we're finally here to eat. But I have to show you guys something because I'm sad and upset. I don't know. I'm feeling a lot of emotions right now and I don't know like the word to describe them, but they're not good emotions. And I'll tell you why. Hold on. My dear, lovely Travel Pro Flight Crew 5 tote that I've had for like two years. I think we're going on three years with this guy. Look what's happening. And it's starting to get caught. Like it was getting caught on the carpets on the way here. I had to drag this upstairs and it was getting caught under my bag when I rolled it. And sad days. Also, I mean, this zipper's been broken but the bag can still function, even though it's broken. But the handle, elevators were broken in the airport and the escalators going up were broken and we need to go up to go to the hotel van. So I had to drag my bag with three other bags on it upstairs and I can feel the handle start to loosen up as I was dragging it and I was worried it was gonna break. Now I'm dealing with that. I have this issue going on. So she's on her last leg. And sorry about the terrible lighting, but my tote has a little hole right here and it goes like all the way in to my tote. So another hole is starting right here, but it's not quite as bad as this hole. So my tote is gonna be SOL soon. And it has a little hole right here, but again, it's functional with this, but not if stuff's gonna be falling out of it. So like, yes, I've had them for a long time, but the thing with like the bags right now is there's a supply chain issue or whatever. I don't know. They're really hard to get right now. And even if I did get them, I would have to pay it out of pocket. Uh, I believe I get a uniform allowance in January, but even still, they're not available on our uniform website. <laughs> so even if I had a uniform allowance, I couldn't. And even if I wanted to buy out of pocket, I couldn't get them. And especially like my tote, it's, um, it is, it was available to crew members at one point, but it's not the original company issued tote. It's the tote that opens up and it has like one big pocket. And there are uniform exchange websites and this is a hot commodity right now. Like. People keep asking for this specific tote, like specifically this one, and I already have it. Uh, my good friend Tim, who I used to buddy bid with, gave this to me. So thank you, Tim. It's been a pleasure, but she's breaking, and she's breaking my heart. So that's my woes of today. But now I'm going to make food because I'm hungry. I forgot to get water. So all I have to drink is an energy drink. And it's 12.30 at night. <laughs> Shoot. I knew I was gonna forget it. If I didn't grab it right when I thought about it, I knew I was gonna forget it. I'm just like 
I'm really tired as I yawn. Not tired, but I'm yawning. But like, <laughs> my battery died. I totally forgot that it was dying, but luckily I had fresh batteries on the charger. But anywho, I moved to the bed because I am like physically tired, but not like mentally tired, you know? Like I'm not sleepy, but I don't have energy to like walk around and do anything. So yeah. <laughs> So I am hanging out watching YouTube videos, much like you are doing now watching this video. I realized that I didn't do a word of wisdom yesterday. So I'm like, okay, I have to do two today. And I haven't really thought about it until like right now. Um, but what I was thinking right before I turned the camera on is a good word of wisdom is always be nice to people because you don't know what they have going on especially strangers you never know what they have going on like I can't even count how many times I've experienced passengers who are either on their way to or from a funeral you just really really never know what's going on in people's lives unless like they tell you of course but spread joy spread kindness there's so much hate in this world already and just don't be a contributor to that that's my word of wisdom so people who know me personally like they always describe me as being really nice and it used to bother me because i used to be like okay but i'm also more than nice like, nice isn't the only personality trait that I have. But at the same time, I'm almost, like, proud of that. That people see me as a nice person. Like, a genuinely nice person. You know, that that's just the vibe that I want to put out into the world. I want to give that energy out into the world. Because there's a lot of not niceness. <laughs> And maybe that's what makes me a good flight attendant. I don't know, but I like to spread as much kindness as I can. So those words of wisdom, number one. So, but now I need one for yesterday, another word of wisdom. So, um, I'm gonna brainstorm that and I'll get back to you. I thought of another one and it's actually something that I did think of earlier today. And that is, it is never too late and you are never too old to try something new. Whether it's becoming a flight attendant or starting a YouTube channel or starting a business or taking classes, going back to school, whatever it is, it's never too late and you're never too old. So that is words of wisdom number two. So... We got day three and day four covered. <laughs> so I'm going to start working on editing this vlog. It's two in the morning. Or is it? Is it really? Hold up. That's what my computer says. Oh. It's two in the morning. <laughs> so I'm going to get the show on the road with editing this vlog so that I can get it up for you guys at a decent time tomorrow. <laughs> Uh, anyways, I know it was short, but I hope you got enjoyment out of it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Or if you just want to support me and my channel, give this video a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. And don't forget to subscribe so you can see all the rest of my Vlogmas videos and everything I have in store for you after. Alright, have a wonderful rest of your day. Have a good night, whatever time of day it is. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye!